my name is Madeline Patrick, and today I'm at the party in the park with Eric Anderson. Patrick, I'm your lifetime star reporter, and I'm here with... Eric Ryan Anderson, Republican candidate for Sumter County Sheriff. What are you doing here today? I'm here to see you and be interrogated by a 12-year-old. <laughs> well, you know, you watch on the news day after day after day, and you see a deteriorating issue. And a lot of that issue has to do with the separation between us and them when it comes to law enforcement and the people of the community. And I felt like I either am part of the problem or I'm part of the solution. And I wanted to be part of the solution. What I want to do is bring the community and law enforcement together. No more us and them, but it's us together conglomerate. Right? A lot of times while you're driving down the road and you see a law enforcement officer in your back window, well, in, in the rear view mirror, you see them in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, check your seat belt. There's all these things that go through your mind. You instantly feel uncomfortable. And we've got to get away from that. When I was a kid, the law enforcement officer in the next booth was somebody you said good morning to, hello to. You look forward to seeing them. You went to them if you had trouble. And we've got to get back to the community trusting the law enforcement again. And I hope to bring that My name is Eric Ryan Anderson, Republican candidate for Sumter County Sheriff. A lot of folks have asked me, why me? Why am I better than the current sheriff? Well, the current sheriff's been in this for 40 years. He's been the sheriff for the last 24 years. He's a good man. He believes in God. And I would trust him with anything. At this time, I feel like he needs to go ahead and take a break, and I'll take over from here. I believe 100% the good Lord has sent me here to do this, and I believe in doing the right thing for the right reasons. And when you say, what's the right thing for the right reasons? The right thing, and we all know what it is. We've been practicing it since we were in kindergarten, first grade. You don't take your neighbor's crayons. It's not okay to hit each other. Treat each other with respect. Be kind. All those things that we learn in the first years of school and it's growing up are things that we need to remember. Now understand also when we were first growing up, we were taught some things that weren't always true. We were taught to be scared. What did you hear from your family? Stay away from the pool. If you fall in, you're going to drown. And then they wondered why you were afraid of water when it was time to go to swimming lessons. We see that kind of fear mongering all the time on TV, on the news every night. There'll be a little skirmish in a small town or a city and they'll make it seem like the whole state is under siege. Don't always believe that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's focus on the positive and build from there, not focusing on the negative. Let's look for the positive, and that's how we build. That's how we train. Anytime you're in any kind of sport or you're learning a new job or anything that you do, you always focus on what you do right and then try to repeat that. Right now, we're focusing on the negative, and it's hurting our country a lot. The interaction with law enforcement. Every single day, there's hundreds of thousands of law enforcement officers out on the street interacting with people in a positive manner. The one you're going to see on the news is the one that didn't work out like they had planned. People don't get into this industry because they want to beat up people. They don't get into this industry because they want to do the wrong thing. Nobody can see you smiling, but here's the big bad wolf smiling like a donkey eating stickers. And you know what? It made me feel good. So smile and feel good, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your day. Bye. Goodbye. How you doing, guys? Decorating. Cupcake decorating. Nice. Let's see what you got. Oh, Madeline's looks cute. AJ's getting there. She's got some sprinkles. Madeline's got sprinkles. Oh, look at that. My cupcake is very cute, and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> and you sound just like Peppa Pig. <laughs> I love my cupcake so much I, I will not. eat it with pride. <laughs> I have ever decorated by myself. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Doing> over here. <laughs> Cooking hot dogs. What's your name? Adrian what? Adrian Neal. And how old are you? I'm 11. You're 11 years old. And how long you been cooking hot dogs? I've been, I like grilling for 20 years. For two years? Wow, and you did this all by yourself. Look at that. I'm impressed. Very good. I'll be sampling your food later. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Neal.